Okay, so we have our program that takes this, this function, this sync trigonometric function, injects some fake noise onto it, and then filters it by adding data pads on either side to get rid of the filtering artifacts. And this is what the program looks like. And I don't need this graph right now. So one thing I want to do is highlight the fact that we get another filtering artifact called a phase shift, and you'll see what I mean by that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out our time scale here. I'm going to copy this multiply sign, multiply that 2 pi by 5, for example, to expand out our time scale. And also what I'm going to do is just add a little phase offset to our sync function. So delete this line. I'm going to copy and paste this add button, this add command. And I'm just going to shift everything over by negative pi. And you'll see, I mean, don't worry about the math. Just I'm just trying to highlight the shape of this curve. So now I go back and play. Okay, so now we see in this function, actually, by the way, let me um, let me show the original function without the injected noise. So just make another graph. Here is without the noise. And this is what the filtered version should look like eventually. Right? So that's the pure function. So now notice we have a phase shift here. So this, our filtered, our nice smooth data looks nice and smooth, but it's not representing the timing correctly. So if we zoom in, we can see they peak at different times. And I can show you how to artificially get rid of that phase shift. It's kind of a common trick. It's called using a forward-backward filter. So it's very simple. All you do is, is here is our filtered data. My apologies, I didn't plan this space very well, so we're going to do some messy wiring, but just bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to insert a reverse ray right here. And the first thing we're going to do is take our original data, and then go to the array palette and find the reverse 1D array. So here's our original data with the data tag on, to, on it. And the first thing we're going to do is reverse that data. So now the data is just a mirror image. So it's kind of nonsense at the moment. So we've reversed it and then filtered it once. And then what I'm going to do is reverse it again, just copy this reverse array, and then filter it one more time, which sounds silly, but basically we're filtering it in one direction, and we generate a phase shift in, in one direction, and we filter it in the opposite direction, and generate a phase shift in the op opposite direction to compensate. So I just copied this low-pass filter thing, and so now just feeding this back in. Same low cutoff frequency. That has to be modified later, by the way, which I'll get to at the end. So now we wire that back in. To our, um, you know, snip out, out added tag, tags. I should have commented that before. Sorry, this code is very messed up sampling frequency. There we go. Connect up the sampling frequency. And see so we now, now have erased our phase shift. So come back for the next tutorial. So we're going to put all of this filtering, kind of smart filtering, into um, a one sub-VI so we can use it.